Hi all, thank you Toastmaster. This is me, Dora, on YouTube. Today's topic for my speech was being on social media, how to create a project, how to create a social media appearance. So I was thinking, yeah, why should I not record this video, this speech on YouTube and share with you like this? Question. Did you ever think about being a YouTube creator? Did you already push a button to upload a video? If you did, stand up, raise your hand and be really proud of yourself. Yes, that's quite an achievement because I recall that's quite a thing for many, many people out there. Thousands of people global have YouTube as their yeah, full-time job. They live from uh, paid ads, they live from uh, all those uh, money they are getting from YouTube for the videos. But that's not the topic I really want to talk about today. If you have your idea, if you have that trigger, but you never push that upload button, then you are really my audience today. What is holding you back? There can be a few items. I recall when I started this journey more or less a year ago, I had another channel, but let, let's not go there. I was thinking, I will be vulnerable out there. Is it worse for me? I am not a kid anymore, I'm not a teenager, I am an adult. Can I handle that? Maybe some people will be really, really mean. Did it happen? Yes, it did. It's the 21st century, people are sometimes mean. So I started uploading my videos. The topic was basically yeah, my hobby, triathlon, sports, endurance sports. I shared experience, I shared races, pre-COVID. I shared uh, running shoe videos. And I started building a community. I really, really enjoyed. I went on, I went on for weeks, for months. And it took quite a while until I got my first negative comment. That was really a moment I had to digest. Of course, it was a mean comment, like, oh, your accent is awful. Okay, English is not my first language. Absolutely not. And most likely the person without a face was English. Yeah, that's your opinion. But it did hurt, to be honest. And then a few weeks later, I got my second comment. As I mentioned, I'm sharing some running shoe videos where I'm also running on the channel. Somebody told me, or wrote to me, you have fat legs. Why should I watch these fat legs running? Yeah, if you don't like it, just put that button there and stop and go to another channel. It's not my issue, my legs, I like my legs. I'm quite proud of them, but that's again another topic. So yeah, I had to really digest these things, but yeah, if you have that trigger, if you have uh, that ambition, just build up on the positive momentum, because I could create a community, and I'm really proud of that. I could help people with my advice, and that feels really, really good. Now, the second topic I really had some issues with, asking myself, am I good enough? Am I enough? We are asking ourselves so many times about this. And I was struggling. Yes, some people have more experience than I have. Some people have more education on these topics. Some people are just coaches for many, many years. And I don't have that experience yet. I'm a coach for two years. But yeah, I do have that, what I would like to share. And I'm quite sure and quite confident about that. So once I just really went ahead, I decided, yes, I'm good enough, yes, I'm going ahead, and I didn't question myself anymore. The third item is time. Everyone has 24 hours per day, and creating YouTube video takes time. I'm on this journey, I have more than 100 uh, videos posted on YouTube, so I can tell you, yes, I did improve in the beginning, really. I had to script all the videos like I did script all my Toastmaster speeches as well. And I'm getting better, absolutely, I'm getting better. I'm not scripting any videos anymore. What I'm doing is basically a piece of paper and the bullet points there, what I would like to share, those main uh, messages. 
and it's working. It takes less time. But of course, some topics I'm talking about, I need uh, more yeah, research and more uh, preparation. So yeah, creating a video will take time. You have to decide yourself how you will just uh, use those 24 hours. Do these videos have to be perfect? Is YouTube about quantity of quality? Depends on your purpose as well. If you plan to upload one video and that will hit uh, the YouTube with million, million, million views, whatever a really hot topic, then I would say, yeah, go for perfection. Because then you put in so much time and you will just uh, yeah, maybe even hire a crew, whatever, if you don't like to make a video. So then go for it. But what I'm doing, for example, myself, really creating a community, then being consistent is more important than the quality. Maybe you can put in the comment box below how many hours per week do you have for a YouTube creation uh, process. If it's one hour, I would recommend upload a video every second week. If you have 10 hours per week, which is quite a lot, then just upload a daily vlog. How your life is going on. Or if your yeah, hobbies, for example, Excel, upload a video every day about Excel, or the formulas, or the macros, whatever. Just go for it. What is holding you back? Do you dare to be a YouTube creator? I hope that if you have those answers, I could help you a little bit. And if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. See you in the next video. Bye.